Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Sugar Lane. We're going to prologue part 2. Part 1 wasn't enough. The next morning, Danai and I began our journey to Litanus, not too far from where we started. We were able to purchase a couple horses from Mamota's farmstead. That was a lucky score. We should get to Litanus in a bit more than a day now. Giddy up, let's call my horse. Um, Nalkon, how are you feeling? Good, I guess. Why do you ask? Because of the armor. I just wanted to know if you feel something different within you. Not right now. I'm not currently wearing it. It's packed in a saddlebag, so I don't think it should affect me for now. I I see. Well, anyway, tell me if you feel anything different. Sure, I remember that I felt something different, but uh, if I were you, then I, I would be scared. I think it's good to know how much exposure you need to start feeling its influence. Sure, I will keep that in mind. Good. And what do you, um, yes? What do you think about Saraith? I mean, I've been thinking about all this and we trusted the demon. A demon that had the Emperor's armor that has promised that you'll be the new Emperor. What's even weirder, the Emperor had a set of demonic armor. I mean, it's not an armor blessed by the gods or angel. It's demonic. It's not that I regret uh, trusting her. I'm just trying to be analytical. Yeah, I know, but Tracy seemed to trust them. Sounds like they've helped each other for a long time. Their cooperation seemed fruitful. And is that now? We don't have any better alternatives. It's important for people to see us as liberators and not as rebels to the empire. And with this armor, Sarith is making that job a bit easier. True, uh, I'm just saying, I do trust her to be honest, but we should stay Vigilant. Just in case, she's not telling us everything she knows. I know, she seems like a good girl, too good for a demon. Angels can be good or bad, people can be good or bad, demons can be good or bad as well. Did you hear that? No. Go away! Don't you dare come any closer! Yes, it's coming from over there! I told you, I'm not interested in you! Leave me alone! I can see them! Oh, let's go! Furry time! There are two girls up ahead, a feline Firan and a Clouty, that appear to be in a scuffle. It looks like the Firan is the aggressor, I should break it up. Guys! Continue, please. I don't know what's going on here, but leave her alone, now! The Firan girl looks to me with a challenger near Lear. I draw my sword. I'm not going to repeat myself. Whatever, I already got what I wanted. Her tongue slides across her sharp teeth as if tasting the remains of her victim, still caught within her cruel smile. Was she hitting her? The Firan girl then leaps into the treetops and appears to vanish in the fo foliage. Are you okay? I yes, thank you. I'm fine. Are you sure? Your hand is bleeding. What? Damn, she beat me. I don't know what she was after, honestly. She was a forest, so probably she had the rabies. Can you tell us what happened? I don't know. That girl, she said her name was Misha. Suddenly appeared and started telling me nice things. I thought she was flirting with me and I just told her I wasn't interested. She told me she didn't care and started to attack me. Luckily, you two were close by. Thank you again. Strange times are ahead. I didn't expect to see any Firons or Clotis in uh, Ashtira. Well, I can't exactly speak for her exactly. She was probably a bandit. But I'm here because I'm a traveler. I visited almost all the nations of the continent. And now it was finally time for me to get to Astira. I was heading to Litanus. By the way, my name is Vega. Like Las Vegas? A pleasure, Vega. I am Nolkan, and this is Danai. I'm sorry to say that we have come to Astira at the worst possible time. We were recently attacked by the Empire. A war is about to start, if it hasn't already started. What? Come with us to Litanus. It's not safe to travel alone. I'd recommend you keep making your way to Karani and take a ship back home. I see. I appreciate your offer, but I'm a little too exhausted to keep traveling. I'll rest a little bit for today and tomorrow I'll follow your advice, I promise. Are you sure that Firan could return? She caught me with my guard down, but that won't happen again. Alright, as you wish. Thank you so much, I hope to see you again in Litanus. See you around Vega, take care. Could it be that that Firan girl was the one who also attacked Aurora? Damn, I would like to talk to Frederick again. He seemed to know a lot about this. Is everything alright, Nolkan? Yes, yes, it's just everything changing and I have some questions on my mind. With any luck, I shall soon have some answers. I need to grab some water. Mission accomplished! Next morning, the two of us keep moving and finally reach our destination, Litanus. Okay, we're here, finally. There are guards at the gate. Don't worry, they're old friends. In this city, we're all old friends. I lived here for a long time. I did my training here more than 10 years ago. So you haven't talked to these people for 10 years. They're not your friends anymore. Oh, I see. All yours then. Halt! Who is approaching? Identify yourself. And that's not the proper way to greet your superior. Not a friend. Nalkan? Is that you? It's been so long. I'm happy to see you too, On Time flies. But what are you doing here? Did the tree invite you to 
to participate in the negotiations. Pardon, what did you say? Um, you are here to participate in the negotiations with uh, Irax, aren't you? And Bertrash has been annihilated. Its citizens have been slaughtered. And this Yellow Knight girl and I are the only survivors. What? That's... Uh, uh, how is that possible? Gods! Where the hell did you get the idea that we had business with Arax? Yesterday, a detachment of about 100 Araxian soldiers came to the city with a lieutenant or some other representative of Executor Traegor to start negotiating the annexation of Ashtir into the Empire. And that's bullshit! We are at war! They attacked us! Merda! They're right in the city! Okay, first, let's lower our voices. If they see us talking, we're just two soldiers speaking with trivialities. Sure, okay. And I need to speak with the tree, now. I think they're in a meeting with the Araxians at the moment. Fodas, I hope I'm not too late. What should we do now, Nalkan? We must expel that detachment before Dragger comes to take the city. If Lutanus falls, Ashtira will fall, but for now, don't do anything rash. If you have the chance and can keep a low profile, tell the other soldiers to prepare for my signal. I'm afraid there will be blood in our streets soon, understood? Yes, sir! Let us in, we're going to solve this problem now. Sure! Nalkan? What should we do now? Trigger surprised me with how astute this move was, but he didn't expect anybody to survive poor trash. That was a crucial mistake. First of all, we should go unnoticed. Some Araxian soldiers might recognize us and give us away without meaning to. Now we should talk with the three before it's too late. Who are these three? They are the three commanders that govern Litanus, Yan, Trevern, and Velos. They are also old friends. I see, but how can we warn them? Anne said they were already assembled. I don't know yet, but we need to infiltrate that negotiation somehow come this way this is the hall of brothers the building where the tree govern litanus and where they should be gathering but nalkan look there are action soldiers everywhere i see we can't just enter from the front door there's six seven eight nine nine soldiers i think both of us can handle them i'm not that strong likely but i'd rather keep a low profile for now we want to avoid possible reprisals from the other soldiers in the city at least until we know what's going on all right i have an idea let's go to the back alley behind the building follow me i don't like back alleys in this game what do you have in mind there's no trap door or anything you'll enter through the roof i'll cast a small spell and it will lift you a few meters up into the air okay she's plotting to kill me now you should be able to drop down and enter from the balcony sounds risky last time i flew up in the sky i passed out don't worry it's a simple spell i've been able to do it since i was five and we really have no choice okay let's do it i'll be waiting here if things get rough just say my name and i'll enter by the main door fine then i cast a spell and i land on the roof safely just as she assured now i'm enzo from assassin's creed let's go okay with a little caution i should be able to reach the balcony over there without being noticed that balcony belongs to the meeting room so that should be where the negotiation is taking place i I make a little jump to reach the balcony below me. Here we are, let's take a look before entering, just in case. There's nobody here, there's no meeting. Where is everybody? Wait, I can see some forms on the ground, and blood. Sneaky time is over. I shattered the glass and entered the room. I ran over to the figures on the ground. Ian, Trevon, and Willows. They're dead. <gasps> no, the three are dead? A growing rage is filling me. Something has just broken inside of me. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. ENOUGH! I draw Trax's sword. The sound came from the meeting room. What are you waiting for? Go in and see what's going on. An Araxian soldier puts his hand on the door handle. Then it's thrown back against the opposite wall as the door explodes outwards. I chop into his left arm. Okay, there goes his arm. The sword biting into the flesh. Muscle and bone with little resistance. The soldier screams and drops his weapon. Two more soldiers charge. I parry the first sword that slices towards me. I turn, slash, faint. I stick the sword into one of their guts. That's nice. I retract and trust again, twisting as the sword retracts the second time, they are both on the ground now. No. A series of staccato explosions erupt from the main floor. A voice echoes through the walls. No, Khan, I told you to call me if something went wrong. I head downstairs. Danai stands on the main floor with the bodies of four more Araxian soldiers before her. The remaining soldiers had run away screaming the name of some Lieutenant Cephas. What happened? I look at Danai. I've had enough. I'm finishing this. Now. I exit the wall of brothers. Citizens of Lieutenant stare at me from all directions, murmuring to each other. Is that Nalkan? What is he doing here? And there he is. Ashtiran, what are you doing? Litanus belongs to the Arax Empire now. As we agreed with our leaders, you belong to us now. Just pierce his skull with the sword. You'll pay for what you've done, you fool. You and this city will pay for what you've done once Trager finds out. You'll regret this. Don't come any closer. I'm warning you. The head of Lieutenant Sifa slides from his neck and falls to the ground. Bye bye, neck. Bye bye, heads. Enough. I breathe in. <laughs> 
People of Litanus, listen to me. I am Nulkan, fourth commander of Ashtira. These are Rex and Trash at annihilated Bershrash, my city. There are no survivors and now they've killed the tree to take control of Ashtira with their lies. Let's remove this trash from our home. Let's avenge our brothers for Ashtira. Dozens of Ashtiran soldiers appear from side streets, joining my battle cry. Even some citizens seek the first tool that could be used as weapon and join their countrymen. All of them are furious. A short battle between the rest of the Iraqian soldiers and the people of Litanus erupts. Nanai comes to my side and starts casting spells and throwing soldiers up in the air. Wingardium Leviosa! It's Leviosa, not Leviosa! But soon the Iraqian soldiers realize that they have no chance of winning, and they flee, or at least that's what they attempt. People of Litanus, my brothers and sisters! Ashtira is in danger! Shurgalan is in danger! Drag is coming with an army to take Litanus! This was his dirty trick to try to take it, with lies and assassinations. He comes with his army to do the same as he did in Bertrash, but not this time! This time we'll be ready, and this time we'll make them pay! Ashtira, what do you say? That dude, Drager! Revenge! Revenge! And appears through the crowd. All this was possible thanks to you, Nalkan. We will avenge our fallen brothers together. Nana is shocked. Gapping? I like when she gaps. <laughs> At the sheer amount of people floating into the street, everyone answering the call. How did you? It seemed so easy. As I told you, they are all old friends. We're a militarized nation, born of fire. Between the soldiers, our trust is everything. That's what makes us shiver the nation you see now. This is our greatest weapon. She smiles. I see. I understand why Sarath and Dresses chose you. I I understand everything now and I must say, there's nothing Trigger can do to stop you! Just don't show me some big bazungas or else I'll, I'll be going crazy. That afternoon, we built a funeral pyre for Ian, Truvan and Waylos. The good news, if we can call it good, is that there were almost no further deaths among their Styrians in the ensuing elimination of their Raxians. We lit a pyre and incinerated their bodies. It was an austere ceremony, no speaks, no music, only silence and fire. Next morning, I wake up and I go to the square. But I want to go to the triangle! Have breakfast, talk to Danai, visit soldiers who have a walk. Can I do everything? Let's have breakfast. I'm starving. I think I should have breakfast before I go anywhere else. A complete breakfast, please. Damn, this is delicious. Oh, that's it? Okay. Talk to Danai. Well, I think you should speak with the rest of the captains first. The city has no governors now that the three are dead. True, this can't wait. Okay, so let's visit the soldiers. Good to see you, Nalkan. You're a legend in Litanus, and you arrived just in time. I'm really a captain that used to do long hours of guard duty on the walls of Bertrash. The tree didn't think so little of you. They always had high praise for Captain Lulkan of Bertrash, fourth commander of the Shiran army, the hero of the dunes. They were just speaking kindly about an old friend. Lulkan, you're here! We wanted to talk to you. Me too, Captain Hugger. I'm not a very ugly uh, person, but that's okay. You are the one in charge, right? Not for much longer. Since you are here, we are all under your command. You are the highest authority in Estira now that the tree are dead, sir. It's something we've already agreed upon with the rest of the captains. Uh, I see, then. Listen closely. This is the situation. After that, I gathered the captains of Litanus and explained to them the situation in detail. We decided to dispatch messengers to the city closest to the capital, requesting reinforcements. We also sent a message to all towns within Asteria, explaining the truth about the assassination of Emperor Dresses. That way, Trager wouldn't be able to trick anyone else. Afterward, I sent all the men back to their homes to rest. I need them fully rested for what it is to come. And the night comes. Oh my god, what option should I choose? Let's choose uh, this one over here. Oh, there's no option. Let's, uh, you, let's rest. What a day. Tell me about it. It's a bit late. Maybe we should rest. Have you even thought about where we'll sleep tonight? Please, don't tell me we're just going to put the mat on the ground again. Come on, I'm the captain. I'm the ruler. I'm the boss of the, of the city. I deserve a master bed. No, <laughs> I was thinking about asking for a bed or a bedroom from one of the captains. I'm sure they'll find us something cozy. I have a better idea. A, a better idea? What do you have in mind? Let's find the inn and spend the night there. What? Are you sure? Sure, it's been a tough day, but there's also something to celebrate. Tomorrow we'll have to start the preparations, but tonight let's have some fun. So if you had already plans to sleep on the inn, why did you uh, set that we're going to put a mat on the ground. Let's have some drinks and sleep in an inn. I won't let you go to bed with that mindful of worries. Fair enough, I think you're right. Just a couple of pints, follow me. I think there's one this way. It's never one or a couple. We arrive at the inn, which is also a uh, tavern. But I was here before taking the breakfast. Wow, it's livelier than I thought it would be. Of course it is. We all have our problems and worries, but this is a good place to distract the mind. Barman, a couple of pints or drinks or whatever you serve here. What if they serve peace? Would you drink peace? Maybe. Let's sit here. Haha, 
and now I'm starting to get to know you better. You won't have those serious guys married to their work that doesn't know how to have fun until someone guides them. Well, I guess you're right. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. And also, my kid just died, so uh, bear with me, okay? We have nothing to worry about. I'll be gentle at first. We enjoying this, aren't you? Sure, in fact, in Yellen, there aren't any places like this. Really? Then what do you do to have some fun? We have parks, theaters, restaurants, and music events every week. And you have no taverns? They don't drink the blood of Christ! No, in fact, this is the first alcoholic drink I'll drink in my life. What? We'll go slowly or you'll get drunk. Let's see who the first one to get drunk is. I prefer to drink responsibly. And that goes for you guys as well. A hangover won't help me tomorrow with all the preparations. Boo! Work, work, and work. That's all I'm hearing. If you don't this fight in one go, I'll tell you a secret. I promise you'll be worth it. I look at Danai. Uh, secret? What secret? Okay, fuck it. Here I go. I kneel the old pine, not being a stranger to alcohol. Good, my turn. She drinks. Blah! It's disgusting as hell. What a taste. Ha 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 ha. Well, I think someone owes me a secret. Oh, yes. Here I go. The day before yesterday at morning, I found a small river and, well, I was cleaning some clothes, including my panties. Yes? Something gave me a fright and I dropped my panties into the river by accident and now they are gone forever. Is that a secret? Or just an accident that uh, happened to you? So now I'm not airing any. Hey, oh god, why am I explaining this? Wait, you only have one pair of panties? Why? Just buy more. What? Hey, hey, hey it's true. I guess I'll need to find some tomorrow. I look at her. She looks at me. And I burst into laughter. <laughs> We laugh like fools, maybe the drink is taking effect, maybe not, but I'm having fun. This cannot end now. After that, we go up to our room. Danai staggers a little bit as we climb up the stairs, both of us laughing entirely. As soon as she lays on one of the beds, she falls asleep. Oh, come on! It's no fun like this. I take off her boots and tuck her gently into the bed. I take a look at both beds, suddenly accident. I look over to Danai as she, she sleeps. I would really like to... Okay, no, there are two beds, one for each. All the rest must be the alcohol, yeah, that must be it. Oh god damn it! Look Seriously? Why am I playing this game if nothing happens? <laughs> Joking, okay? When I leave the tavern, I feel as if someone or something is watching me. I look around, but I see no one suspicious. I must be paranoid. What is happening? It's a nice day. I really feel like taking a walk, but I should start with the preparation for the battle with the rest of my men. Okay, talk with Captain Hugger. Commander Nocon! What's up, Captain Hugger? As you commanded, we've informed all the soldiers about the imminent attack. They're ready. We've also notified the men in the reserve forces. Good, we'll need all of them. How many men do we have in total? 6,000 men strong sir those are not bad numbers plus the enforcement we have on route might double that count sir we won't form our battle plan around them joining the fight i've had messages sent to all the surrounding cities but it's unlikely we can count on the enforcements to arrive in time some messengers shouldn't reach their destination until tomorrow they won't have enough time to get all the men ready and make their way here True, sir. We only need to worry about how many troops Dragar has been able to scrunch up after all the casualties they suffered at Portrash. We have one of the most impressive walls in Chuggerland, sir. We won't be so easy for them. Agar, you've been in Portrash, right? Do you remember our walls? I think so. Just a bit lower than the walls of Litanus, I would say, sir. They didn't stand for more than half an hour. If they have an arc make, and they will, our walls will be nothing more than a cage trapping us inside. I see, sir. I have something different in mind. Captain Agar, here's the inventory you asked for. Great, I have to check this, Commander Nolkan, I'll inform you later. Very well, Captain Hugger, see you later. Well, well, preparations are going well for now. I'll go find Anai. Perhaps she'll want to have lunch together. Does she also never ate our food as well? Later that evening? What should I do now? Have dinner with Danai. We could go to the tavern and have dinner. What do you say? Good idea, I'm a bit hungry. Dinner for two and a couple of pints. Um, I have to say, Assyrian dishes are great. What is it? We call them kashopo. They're basically fried breaded beef with ham and cheese inside. You can live for a whole week on just one of these. <laughs> really? No, no, you can't. I couldn't. Tell me about it. Ha <laughs> ha. What was this date? Have a walk with Danai? It's great to have some time to take a walk. Yes, I guess. Preparations are going quite well. We can't do much more except wait for reinforcements if some of them arrive in time. If only we were able to speak with my people before the battle, this will be so much easier. No more yellow knights will die if fooled by Traeger's lies. After all this, we'll add to Yellen. But with Traeger still alive, it will be much more difficult, you know? I know, my people are good servants of the Empire. We'll set them free. We stand in silence. Two girls approach? You are the 
Ellen Knight girl, right? Okay, so literal uh, little girls. I, I don't care about that. Of course she is. Look at her hair. My dad said that you launched like a ton of erections up in the air in just one spell. Uh, I don't think it was quite that many, but yes, I did that. Wow, you're amazing. I've always wanted to learn magic to become a make. Me too, please teach us something. Magic is not something that can be learned in just one day. But you could teach us something elementary, anything basic. We don't have uh, makes in the Shtira. Yes, please, I've even read a little about magic from an old book from the library. Magic specially needs tons and tons of theory. Spells and enchantment come after years of study. Both girls look at each other. Not a problem, we'll study, we promise. Danaya looks at me. It's a bit late, but I don't think they'll rest until I teach them something. Go, I can visit my brothers on the wall and meet you at the inn later. You three have fun. Fine, see you later. Danaya and the two girls leave, skipping in excitement around her. I start walking, there's nobody on the streets. I said I'd go see the soldiers on the wall, but I'd rather stay around here and just walk. Lidanos brings me good memories, all those nights of partying with my friends from the academy. Those were good times. How long have I been wandering these streets? It seems I've lost track of time. For a moment, I sense the presses watching me. I look around discreetly, but I see no one. I walk on, keeping my hand over at my side, near the handle of my sword. Spies? Maybe some Araxan soldier hidden in the city? I don't think so. It's a furry girl? Suddenly, I hear a sound coming from an alleyway. I decide quickly to investigate. I have no fear. If Arax managed to send assassins, I'll show them again that I'm not afraid of their dirty tricks. I see a silhouette. Misha? Oh, it's a furry from before. Indeed, we meet again, Nokan. What do you want? You know what they say about fear in people? When we choose a prey, we don't rest until we vet or feel. And I must say I'm quite angry. What do you mean? This! She makes a sign with her hand and some kind of barrier appears some meters from my back, just at the alley entrance. Oh no, I've been caught again! No! Please, no! And there they are, the red eyes. Her clothes are also different now, although I never actually saw them change. Don't worry, this is just a preventive measure. We wouldn't want anybody to disturb us. It's quite a stroke of luck that that friend of yours is not with you now. Stay away from me, succumbus! Oh, come on now, Nalkan. Such a virile strong man, such energy, such powerful essence don't you want me oh hey, hey i promise i'll make you feel really really good i don't want to leave my virginity alone damnation our influence is strong she's already breaking down my free will it's hard to think clearly no can come here what should i do scare her try to free her scare her i draw my sword i don't care what you want for me creature if you come any closer that'll be the last thing you do she looks at the sword and then at me she's doubting just try it come Come on, you won't hurt anybody else, creature. Misha finally jumps from wall to wall until she reaches the roof of her house and then leaves. The barrier also disappears. I think I'm safe for now. No, I'm not because uh, I'm going to try to free her. All right, creature, after me, there will be another man, and then another, and another. I'm ending this now. You won't kill anyone else. Okay, here I go. So, do I fight the same way that I fought before? I don't remember how to fight. I, I know what you're trying to do, but... You give good headbutts, uh, human. Damn. What am I supposed to do? Uh, resist. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Just stop. I'm the one who should be sedu- uh. You're not the only one that can seduce people, cat. Now it's my time. Let's resist. Oh, no. Take your hands off me. Do you like the effects of my swords? Stop. I command you. Yep, she's enjoying it. You're not commanding nothing. I'm the one in control now. What the freak? You just- Keep that away from her. That's too dangerous. This is another way uh, of fighting. Where do I go next? I bet free runs are quite sensitive as well. No, this is God. This is our, your worst nightmare. You chose the wrong prey, little pussycat. Don't come near me. You were the one attacking me first. No, goddamn cat. How did you get so close to me? What the freak? Oh, yeah, I'm almost dying though. We have basically the same HP. No, resist. Ah. Okay, but now I'm the one doing it. I, I don't understand this game. I thought I was trying to avoid this. What are you doing with your fingers? You haven't told me to stop. Look how shiny my sword is. So this is the power of a Firon. I wonder if Firons also have a weak spot. Let's find out. I think I found already a weak spot. Jackpot. Food shouldn't be doing this. Oh, so she wanted to eat me? I'm not your food creature. What were you saying? I think we're about to be your food, all right? Do I go to her armpits? Okay, that's not our armpits. I didn't give you permission to... What permission? You're the one doing it. And what about all the men you stole their essence from? Did they all give you permission? Yes, they all wanted me sooner or later and so will you and now they're all dead damn succumbus you won't hurt anybody else after tonight what if i just let myself die against her now i guess every scene has an ending ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> yes, give it to me now. Ah, yes, you cost me more problems than any other, but your efforts were worthless in the end. <laughs> Remember, you are now mine. I'm yours. Let's get out of here, my precious foods. Yes. I guess uh, that ends the game. I thought that would be an end scene, but there's no end scene. I don't think there's uh, more scenes after this. No! Let's finish this now. Finish her. Misha was defeated. Yes, her body shudders. She's exhausted. The red vanishes from her eyes. Now they're green again. Great, I think I did it. Fighting against a second bus or whatever they are. Oh boy, that was hard. Yeah, very hard. Look at me. Woo, sweating. I see several small shiny things on the ground. They look like tiny diamonds. I have no idea where they came from, but I'll take them. I guess I have 40 crystals now. Misha should be free now. No more victims. The barrier disappeared. That's a good sign. I carry her and pay for her to have a room to spend the night at another inn. I'd better go back to Danai. It's quite late already. Ready. I won't say a word about this for now. I won't say a word about this anytime. I go back to my room and get some rest. <sighs> that was an intense scene, guys. Don't follow. Don't follow people into alleyways. Or uh, be careful if you think you're being watched. Wait, I think I'm being watched, guys, now. So uh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna leave.